Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rebas Samir and today we are diving you into two important anatomical variations of the mental nerve, the mental loop and the second one is the accessory mental foramen. Understanding these structures is crucial for safe and effective dental procedures, especially in implantology and surgery. Let's get started. In this image, the inferior alveolar nerve is shown in yellow and has two terminal branches the mental nerve in red and the incisive nerve in blue as you see it's clear and now uh, let me tell you the types of mental nerve pattern or pathways before reaching the mental foramen the mental nerve can follow one of these three patterns straight perpendicular and anterior loop first we'll start with the straight guys look this picture the nerve follows a direct road. Let me zoom in to see clearly. Okay, good. This is inferior alveolar nerve and this one is mental nerve. The nerve follows a direct road from the mandibular canal to the mental foramen and making it the simplest and most predictable pathway. And uh, as you know, the best way to Visualize the mental loop is through the comb beam CBCT comb beam computed tomography and traditional x-ray often fail to provide a clear picture but CBCT allows for precise 3D assessment making surgical planning safer and more accurate all right let me show you in axial section guys uh, let's take a look at this CBCT axial section. As you can see here, this is the mental foramen, and uh, in this case, the mental nerve follows uh, a straight pattern. It exits the mandibular canal in a direct pathway without uh, uh, any significant curvature. Okay, good. Now we'll return back to the second pattern which is the perpendicular guys look in this picture again we want to zoom in now it's clear we have inferior of your nerve the nerve drops at almost at right angle at right angle uh, before reaching the mental foramen this can complicate surgical procedures if not carefully identified again I want to show you in uh, CBCT axial section again here let's take a look at this CBCT axial section notice how uh, the mental nerve exits at almost uh, at a right angle before reaching the uh, mental foramen this is what we call the perpendicular pattern as you see in this side but here we have the straight pattern now, the third uh, way pattern or we can say uh, types of mental nerve pathway is anterior loop. Anterior loop. Guys, look here, the nerve here, this inferior alveolar nerve, the nerve extends forward uh, beyond the foramen before curving back to exit. Look at this one guys, it's clear. The nerve here extends forward beyond the forearm before curving back to set. This is the most critical variation in implant planning because misjudging its location can lead to nerve injury. Now again, we want to show you the CBCT in order to know how we can see this anterior loop. Again, usually axial section helps us a lot. guys. Uh, in this CBCT axial section, we can see uh, something different. This is the anterior loop of the mental nerve, guys. Anterior loop of mental nerve. Uh, instead of exiting directly, guys, instead of exiting directly, the nerve extends forward beyond the mental foramen, then curves back. As you see, curves back. Uh, before making it is actual exact this is how we can see in axial section again on the 
uh, left side we see like this guys regarding the surgical procedures usually we have information about the uh, mental loop or anterior loop of the mental loop so the length of the anterior loop varies usually ranging from 0.5 millimeter to 10 millimeter depends on the cases so in some cases it can be even longer to avoid nerve damage for example now we have implant here here uh, we have the uh, mental loop but here it's not here we have mental loop uh, to avoid nerve damage a minimum a minimum safety margin of two millimeter anterior to the loop is, eco is recommended who look here two millimeter anterior to the uh, mental loop is recommended during implant placement <laughs> now let's talk about another important variation the accessory mental foramen amf this is an extra opening near the main mental foramen through which additional branches of the mental nerve pass here we can see this 3d mode of the cbct we have two different cases it shows that we have two mental foramen the presence of accessory mental foramen is not rare but it is frequency varies for example according to the many references that have been done before reported that in one percentage to 10 percentage of individuals have the accessory mental foramen either it's unilateral or bilateral both sides has a accessory mental foramen okay why does this matter guys as you know that if you have accessory mental foramen it may cause incomplete anesthesia if an, an accessory mental foramen is present and not considered during nerve block the uh, pattern may not be fully the patient sorry may not be uh, fully anesthetized leading to discomfort during procedures and of course the patient will have pain and by this way you cannot control the patient and the patient rejects any dental procedures yet that you plan it to do and supposed it to be done for the patient another thing guys as you see here may cause injury during placing the uh, implant placement or during extraction or any mandibular surgery failing to identify this extra or not we cannot say it's accessory uh, mental foreign can result in nerve injury persistent pain and altered sensation here all right let's take a look at this cbct scan in this axial section guys here in this axial section we can clearly see an additional foramen near the uh, near the for example here we have the bone uh, additional uh, mental foramen you have near the main mental foramen this is an accessory mental foramen guys here look we have even the bone can you see and here these small bones located between because in most or most of the cases these two foramen foramina came or come adjacent to each other beside each other or sometimes superior to the main or inferior to the main mental foramen so here instead of a single exit points for the mental nerve this patient has two foramina meaning an extra nerve branch is present okay now in sagittal section switching to the sagittal section you can see both foramina here and also if you want to show you the 3d mode guys it becomes now uh, it becomes even clearer this patient has to distinct mental foramen and thank you for watching if you found this information helpful don't forget to share it with your colleagues see you in the next video